Dubai, a city built on ambition, a workforce all wanting success. People, professions, companies, all in fierce competition to make it to the top. And now, a competition of a different nature challenges Dubai's workforce. One that will take those chosen to their physical and mental limits and change their lives forever. Fighting Fit Dubai. Fight for your life. Let's go. Put your fists up right now. You better believe that I'm going to put up a yeah. fight. You better believe that I'm going to do us right. You better believe that I'm going to push my limits. You better believe that I'll be in it to win it. You better believe that I'm going to put up a fight. You better believe that I'm going to do us right. You better believe that I'm going to push my limits. You better believe that I'll be in it to win it. Straight hard fight easy. Good evening and welcome along to the magnificent Emirates Golf Club. It is fight night. 2016 Fighting Fit Dubai. What a stage we have got here for final fight night. Chris McCarty, the ring in the center on the lawn at Emirates Golf Club, the beautiful Dubai Skyline Marina in the background. I cannot wait for 10 mouth-watering fights. This is what they've all been building towards. 10 key fights on the main fight card. Three of the reserve fights as well to look forward to. Eight weeks blood sweat and many many tears culminate in what is Robbie Greenfield a magnificent night win or lose it's an incredible achievement in terms of the I'm not the last one anymore <laughs> this is my personal favorite fighter I said this to you Robbie early doors Manpreet Panu he's a man that is well he embodies he's your everything. champion is he not yes, Chris he is my champion he's a man who embodies everything that I feel fighting fit Dubai is all about he takes on Paris it boy Norris how do we see this one going it's just fascinating clash this one you could not get two more different guys in the ring together Paris well he's got the looks he's got the stature he's got everything he's got the Instagram account as well Manpree he's come from a long way he's been out living in Dubai a long time he's been through some career difficulties he's been down on his luck he's come back this is a really heartwarming story Paris has the tools he's got all the physical tools to win the fight Manpreet, I feel, has the bigger heart. Victory. I'm rooting for him. I've got to say, go on, Manpreet. Ding, ding. It's time for the boxing. Mamps, when he started, was the old man in the competition who was sick in the corner of the ring in the first round. Uh, he started off at a very low level. I wasn't at my fittest, but I was within maybe the top five fittest people in the competition. So from the moment I walked in the gym that day, I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a clue what to expect. I got that email while I was in Canada that when you get back, you're gonna have to step in the gym at 7 a.m. Like, whoa, I'm at a Punjabi wedding, man. I'm eating chicken, doing some fungra and stuff, you know what I mean? Boxing was the last thing in my mind. Aspirations for this show, to sign up and go through this experience just to get physically fit get back in a condition I know I can get in. I have been in in the past, 42 now. A lot of years I've packed in. I wanted to bring that back into my life. I wanted a bit of discipline in my life, a bit of routine, a bit of structure. Looking back, I've got absolutely no regrets. I think it's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey with some amazing people. I want to win it so much because I never want to box again. If I lose this boxing match, I will be back training to do the next one. I want this to be the end of my boxing career. On TV, 2,000 people watching, you know, all my friends there, winning it, you know, hand goes up. Got all the evidence, I'll show that to the grandkids one day, and I'll be talking about it forever. That's me, done with boxing. <laughs> I've never considered myself to be a role model as such. I mean, I like to inspire, I like to help. If someone's watching that who's in my boat right now, be it age or be it a parallel in the stories of life or whatever, if I can be that person that inspires somebody out there just to know that somebody stepped in a gym, it's a light warming feeling to be honest with you. I'm a boxer now, man. I'm a boxer now. Definitely. This is going to continue. And boxing is the medium by which I'm going to keep fit. Number five, and well, all impartiality goes out the window. My message on this We're one. To Come on, man, Pete Panu! Manpreet looking to be the aggressor early doors, but you can see the difference in stature between the two men, Chris McCarty. Is this going to be a Hollywood script, McCarty? Because Paris is unloading on Manpreet. He says, no, that didn't hurt me. Here comes Paris again, and these are punches raining down. 
Batman Pre is up against the ropes. He could be going here. The referee has stopped this. He's given him the standing count, Robbie Greenfield. It's a standing count. That was an onslaught there. My goodness gracious me. I'm lost for words, Robbie Greenfield. Impressive, and he is swaggering around the ring. He's got full confidence in his ability. What can Manpreet do? The Trojan dominated him there. Another great jab sends Manpreet reeling backwards, and here he comes again. This one could be over. It's a venomous flurry. Combos of right to left. Oh, he's done. That is a clean knockout from Paris Morris. Can Manpreet get back up? That was a vicious right hand that caught him. His legs have gone. Oh, he's gone. They caught him. He's his gone. Legs, his legs have gone, Chris McCarty. You can only hope that Manpreet is OK. That was brutal from Paris Norris. We haven't seen anything like that in any episode so far of Fighting Fit Dubai Season 2. His legs deserted him, and that was a vicious flurry of punches that put Manpreet on the canvas, Chris. The occasion brought out the best in Paris. A lot of eyes on him. He revels in the attention, brought his A game, and well, poor, bless him. Bless Manpreet, he's getting a hug from Astrid, and I think, well, the, uh, the result is academic. Over to Robbie Greenfield with the result. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by knockout. It's the red team, it's Paris, the Trojan, Norris! How's my hand? Long story short, he got it right on the day. He connected with an uppercut and that was, that was lights out. Just laid in everything I had in, into his face and uh, he hit the floor. That's how you knock someone out in the first round. My heart, my gut, everything said get up and I got up. <laughs> my legs just took me over that way and I went down again. Lunging across the, the ring, fell down his face. Said to the doctor, I'm all right. And he's like, no, son, you're not. I mean, that was the dawn of realization that it was over. We all share a huge respect for each other. And um, I think that, that's what I've really taken away. I've been smacked much harder than that in life. I still walk forward and get up. So it's a sport. Two gentlemen in a ring, guy beat me, fine. I get up tomorrow and I pull back the curtains, I look at the blue sky and I'll go, it's one now. Put your fists up right now. You better believe that I'ma put up your yeah. fight. You better believe that I'ma do what's right. You better believe that I'ma push my limits. You better believe that I'll be in it to win it. You better believe that I'ma put up a fight. You better believe that I'ma do what's right. You better believe it, I'ma push my limits. You better believe that I'll be in it to win it. Say what? You better believe that I'ma put up a yeah. fight. You better believe that I'ma do what's right.